here is how you install zero guest CRM from a zip file. So go to plugins, then add new, and then upload plugin, then navigate to where your plugin is, which will be zero guest CRM .zip. Click install now. And it'll take a couple of seconds and then activate the plugin. And then you're taken to the install wizard. So here you can set up your options, which I'll quickly run through. So choosing which type of business you do, freelance developer, um, choose whichever one best suits what you do. Depending on what you pick here, it will tailor the next page of the wizard to what you choose. So it is um, important you pick the correct thing. So for me, it's e-commerce, WooCommerce. And then menu styles. So uh, the most favored one is Zero BS Slimline. This keeps your WordPress. So posts, media, pages, dashboard, and it puts all of the Zero BS settings under zero BS CRM. But you have two other options. So you can have a zero BS override. So this effectively removes all of your menu options. So posts, pages, uh, plugin, all of that will disappear. And it's good if you want to run the CRM as a standalone CRM. So that when you're in the back end of WordPress, you're only seeing CRM options um, and not your posts, pages, media. Or you can have a combination of the two. So you can have either only the CRM, which gives you menu items for everything like mails, campaigns, companies, quotes, invoices, transactions. This one doesn't give you those extra items. It just puts them all under your heading. Or you can have a combination of the two, which has posts, pages, media, and the rest of your items dotted in there. This one will make your menu quite cluttered. This one gives you just the CRM, but you might be wondering where plugins and posts and pages are if you're running a WordPress site and want to run your CRM alongside it. The Slimline option keeps it nice and tidy, and so we default to this one, but you have two other options if you want. Um, Share Essentials, this is effectively, it lets us build a better CRM. So if we find out that nobody's using quotes or nobody's using um, certain areas or struggling to get to grips with certain parts of the CRM, then this will help us understand that. It doesn't share any personal information um, apart from the things that you give us. Like if you want to share your email, it will give us your email and that's further down in the setup wizard. Um, so we'll just click next. And because I've chosen a WooCommerce, it will come and say it's hard work, um, which it is. These are some of our extensions we recommend. And so if you want to purchase an extension at this point, these will take you straight to the relevant area. So carrying on. So the optional features is which of our extensions that are free in the core do you want to use? So do you, do you need quotes for your business? You can, to you can toggle those on and off. Do you want invoices? You can toggle those on and off. And then it'll also give you specific upsells again of we have invoice in Pro. If you want to be creating invoices, sending a link to your customer, and then they can pay you online without then having to sort out payment separately to your invoice. And then forms is whether you want to use our built-in uh, lead generation forms. If not, we have an integration with Gravity Farms and an integration with Contact Farm 7. And this is all about getting your customers and leads into the CRM. Um, and you can turn these on and off at any time in the settings as well. So then click next. And then this is, do you want to join our mailing list? So we'll generally send about any updates to the plugin. We'll give um, special offers from time to time. and to share any sort of product updates. So if you've requested a feature and it's been logged onto our featured list, then we email out once a month to say, this is everything that's 
going on in the CRM this month. These are all our new features. These are our bug fixes, and we've released these new extensions, etc., etc. So that's highly recommended that you do that. And then get updates again. That's just saying, yeah, send me, send me, send me everything. So there you go. And then your CRM turns, and when you're done, you get the happy bit bear dance. Finish and go to your settings, and then you're taken to the settings. So this is our new settings layout for version 2.12. It's all up and running. Um, if you want to see all the different tabs, a quick menu, and they'll all come to the side, rem remembering our options that we chose. Um, you'll see that we've got ZBS settings. This is effectively you as admin of the plugin. So like your other plugins, you can change settings, you can add custom fields, um, you can control the funnels, etc. So th these are your admin areas. Um, you can add new fields, but then there's another dashboard area, so ZBS dashboard up here, and this has everything else on. So this is our new dashboard. You click that, and you can see it's all set up with our data. Um, and then this is brand new um, in today's release, and that's the 18th of August. So this is this is a cutting edge, straight off the development floor, and we're looking for feedback on this. So again, it's just showing the this is once you're installed, this is your central area, but then you can access all of your other areas down the side. So you can look at your contacts. You can create invoices, quotes, transactions, you can add events, you can advance search, you can control your farms, manage your team, as well as then even go and look at your settings again. So it sort of jumps you around and it's just this is our this is how the CRM looks, and then it's up to you to start populating it with data. So you can go to contacts and you have different types of tools which are highlighted here. So if you want to automate the process of getting customers and leads into your CRM, you can do it that way. Or if you need any other data tools, we have a number of different things. Um, so you don't, it, it, when it's brand new, you don't have anything installed, but you can import and export um, by clicking here. And it'll take you to the various data tools. And then you can also export once you get to a point of exporting, then you can export. So I, w I won't do a full tour because this is effectively how to install it. But this is your CRM and this is what's included out of the box. Without any extensions, you get a very powerful WordPress based CRM. So you manage your contacts, your quotes, your invoices, transactions, events, and everything else you want to do to improve your business. Um, there are extensions available, so there's so much more that the CRM can do, and you'll see all of the extensions available. And this is where you can turn on and off different extensions, and you can shop for our extensions on the store. So I'll quickly jump there as well. And these are our current extensions. So if you wanted to, every time you have a new contact in your CRM, you'll add it to MailChimp. That's an extension for you there. Awesome support. If you're running a support desk, this is a great plugin. And this links your customers to your support tickets. Um, convert kits the same as MailChimp. There's so many different extensions that you can explore and power up your CRM in certain ways. So Invoicing Pro lets you be able to pay your customers online and so much more. So they're easily filtered. So if you want to look at our sync tools, so these are the ones about getting contacts into your CRM. So retrieving from Stripe, from PayPal, and from WooCommerce. Our email marketing, you've got these options. Payments, you've got, again, if you're taking payments through PayPal and Stripe, this will bring in your transactions as well as your customers. And Invoicing Pro allows people to pay with that and then various different tools as well. And if you're interested in a lot of the extensions, then the bundles are definitely for you. So we have these um, three bundles if you want to then power up your CRM, but first and foremost, get using the CRM. Um, 
give us feedback and generally hope you enjoy using the CRM. So any questions, then you can reach out to us through any of our support channels or by joining our CRM community. So and that's all for today.